I'm here with Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Honda Canada, Barry Holt. Barry, how are things going? I'm great, thank you. Now Barry, Honda says it wants to be a company that Canadians want to exist. Can you explain that? Yeah, that's our uh, uh, 2020 vision. What it really does is just takes us an opportunity to look beyond ourselves and our product and, and look at customers in general and society in general and how we can try to make people's lives better. We just celebrated our 50th uh, anniversary um, on March the 11th and I believe it's because of that viewpoint that we can uh, survive and, and flourish at 50 years and hopefully 50 more. So Barry, as you're aware, some time ago we started a program called Honda Loves You Back where Honda showed love for current Honda owners. And recently there's been talk about a new program called Honda Gives Back that wouldn't limit itself to existing Honda owners. And as I recall, this was inspired by a moment you had uh, when a young lady named Stephanie came to speak at the office. Can you tell us about that? She uh, inspired everybody. And it was the first time that I can remember uh, we had a group of, I'm going to say somewhere about 100 associates she was speaking to, and it was silent when she finished. Uh, we were silent because we were in awe. It was actually that day that uh, she talked a great deal about her 16th birthday. She was about to turn 16. And that's when we kind of hatched this idea of saying, how can Honda make her 16th birthday the most memorable birthday uh, possible? A few years ago, she went to the Indy and she fell in love with Red Riders. The Junior Red Rider program is for kids from age six to 12, and it teaches children how to safely ride. She was an inpatient, she had just had a major surgery and she had a day pass from sick kids and she got on a dirt bike and realized that when she's on a dirt bike she doesn't have pain for some reason. She has severe chronic pain. It took not more than a couple of minutes to show her how to do it and she was just whipping around the track. They couldn't believe how she turned around that day. I have chronic pain, so um, I'm pretty much always in pain, and one of the few times that I don't feel pain is on a dirt bike. When somebody has pain all the time, and there's no cure in sight, and the only thing that helps her is being on a dirt bike, I, I, I don't know how to describe that feeling. With all that she goes through, she still finds time to give back to the Make-A-Wish. Um, she's come and worked at the Honda Indy. So for her sweet 16, Honda has decided to give Stephanie something back. Stephanie, I've been asked to deliver this very special message for you for your sweet 16. Hey Stephanie, your buddy Hinch here. I uh, just wanted to drop in and wish you a very happy birthday. I'm actually out in California at the moment. Look, there's the Hollywood sign. So very happy <laughs> birthday and hello from Hollywood. I'm gonna count to three. When I count to three, I want you to hit pause on this video, and then I want you to turn around. Ready? One, two, three. What? What? I was like, what is this? I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to do. I was just kind of shocked. <laughs> In the interest of rider safety, we're going to take you up to one of our Honda dealerships and they're going to outfit you from head to toe with riding gear so that we know that you're safe and well protected. If you can imagine living in pain 24 hours a day, seven days a week, being able to relieve her of some of that pain is like a dream come true. Dirt biking makes me feel empowered and it makes me feel so happy and excited and it gives me a lot of strength. I just want to say thank you so much Honda Canada and thank you so much Debbie for everything you guys have done and um, to get me to see the light at the end of the tunnel again um, and kind of get me through some really rough times. Pain dictates her whole life, dictates her every single minute. So being on a dirt bike, it gives her independence, it gives her relief from pain. Seeing her drive off and smiling and laughing and having freedom and getting fresh air, I, I, I don't, there are no words. <laughs> there are none, thank you.